it's hard for him to sit in one spot. He always just loves running around and exploring. The first time he did it, we're just sitting there and basically watching him. And that's when he started to run like nobody's business. He has the freedom to run around in my apartment. So he just runs laps. He's very independent and he is not afraid to show it. But he's much more open compared to when I first got him. I did a lot of research before adopting a hedgehog. When I brought him home, the biggest struggle was creating that connection with him. He was definitely a little nervous. His quills kind of just like furrow over his forehead. It feels like toothpicks. So I would put out my hand so that he knew, okay, this is someone I can trust. He was just sniffing, getting a feel for me. And it took a while, but then he started opening up. I was able to hold him in my hands. I would pet him like this. And then I started to feel like he gets very soft quills. He honestly looked like a guinea pig. And then I would play around with him and rub his belly. Now I'm working fully remotely. So I would bring him into my studio and then I'll be like wearing a hoodie and he'll just go slip himself into the pocket and he'll fall asleep. <laughs> and it's just brought us even closer together. Whenever I'm like giving him a bath, he just sprawls out his legs and he just sits there. <laughs> he almost just looks like a frog. There have been times where I'm just like looking at him and then he'll sneeze. And so I'm like, oh, mochi. <laughs> I ended up making like a big playpen for him. I call it his mansion. So he had a lot more space. I honestly just always want the best for him. I love him like he's family. 